Hey, I'm Naj, and today we're cooking stewed cabbage, fried fish, and potatoes. If you love fried crabs and fish, you'll love this southern stewed cabbage recipe. Both go hand in hand, meaning we often eat cabbage and fish together due to the natural sweetness of the spot and the tangy southern flavor of our boiled cabbage. Feel free to screenshot as we go along. All right, wash your hands, let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by boiling our water, our smoked meat, and then seasonings on medium-high heat for 40 minutes to make a rich and flavorful broth. Now, if you prefer smoked turkey, don't worry, you can just go ahead and substitute this, the pork for the turkey. We're gonna put a lid on this, so keep it moving. So we have an onion, we have our garlic clove, and we have one head of cabbage. We're gonna start to mince our garlic into very small pieces. I have a fast way of peeling garlic, and it's just angling my knife downward. And what I do after that is just pop that knife with the heel of my hand, and then the garlic pop, pops right on out. Just in case you didn't catch the list of ingredients, here it is right here for you. Go ahead and screenshot it. Now if you're watching this video and you like it, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Also, I have a, fly, a fried blue crab video, so check that out. Say that 12 times fast. That skill. I have to show y'all that. People be doubting my knife skills. Don't be doubting. Okay, we're gonna cut right along the core. Because we're not gonna cook the core of the cabbage. And then you're gonna cut it into cubes. Now, if you prefer strips, go ahead and cut it into strips. Once we cut our cabbage into cubes, we're gonna set that aside. And we're going to work on our spot. This is the reason why we call this fish spot. Do you see the spot? Okay, so this is personal preference, but what I'm doing right here is just removing all of the fins. This is considered cleaning your fish. You want to make sure you remove all scales. Sometimes if you get your fish from the fish market, they'll do it for you, or they'll say they'll do it for you, but when you get your fish home, you'll find that there's still some scales. No worries, you'll just gently brush the fork against the skin of your fish to remove any extra scales. The skin of your fish should be smooth. Okay, so our stock has been boiling for about 40 minutes. We're gonna go ahead we're gonna add our washed cabbage, onion, and minced garlic. And keeping the temperature at medium high heat, we'll stir up our ingredients. And once everything is stirred together, woo, look at that flavor. We're gonna put a lid on it, and we're gonna allow it to cook for 10 minutes before we let the steam do the rest of the cooking. Set our timer for 10 minutes. And let's season our fish. Now all of these are optional, but the Obey isn't. Use Obey. <laughs> Miss Dash, no salt. And I couldn't find my lemon pepper, Miss Dash, so I had to use this. It's okay. And of course, as we season our fish, what we do to one side, we flip over and we do to the other side of our fish. The seasoning I use on my fish may vary from the seasonings your family likes, which is okay. Use whatever seasoning you like, just make sure both sides are hit up. Mm. 
Now we're gonna bread our fish with House of Autry. Notice how I'm patting the flour into each and every crease and crevice. <laughs> to get crispy fish, we're gonna make sure every inch, every millimeter is covered in flour. Shake off the excess flour before dropping your fish into the hot oil. As we check our oil, we're gonna use our chopstick or you can use a wooden spoon and you'll find that bubbles will form around the wood. That's how you know your oil is hot enough. Notice how I'm not moving the fish. When you fry chicken and when you fry fish, you don't wanna immediately start shifting and moving your fried fish and chicken. You want to give the batter some time to crisp up before we start shifting and moving our food in the oil. Okay, so now it's time to start shifting the fish around. Okay, and we're gonna let that cook for about two, two and a half, three minutes on each side. One major thing to note when you're frying fish or you're frying chicken, the meat will bubble like mad when you put it in hot oil. The rapid boil of the oil will let you know whether your meat needs to continue to cook or it's done cooking. See? So now it's time to pull our fish out and set it on some paper towels or if you have a rack, you can set it on the rack because we want to make sure we drain our, the oil from our fish. We want crispy fish. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. We're almost done. I'm gonna flip these guys over. And this was an easy dish to make. It only took me, I don't know, what, 20 minutes? There you have it, stewed cabbage, fried fish, and some potatoes, a southern meal.